welcome to our PMC here in Wisloch. My name is Frank Sisser and I'm responsible for the Speedmaster Anicola, which you see here in our PMC. We are producing actually a lot of chops here on different materials, like this chop here, which has different ink coverage on the left and the right side. Ideal chop for the Anicola technology because you have not to adjust any ink zones running this kind of chop. But uh, Anicola can produce a lot of different materials, as you can see here. For example, from very thin material, a 60 gram paper, up to standard materials like a 110 gram paper, which we have produced before a typical uh, chop for uh, web to print printers, like this here as well, a different form, very well produced on the Anicola technology. But we also can print cardboard, as we did it here for a pharma production, or on a very thick cardboard uh, uh, material, which we can be run also with 15,000 sheets an hour, as we do it here. Here's also a very interesting job on a 135 gram a work and turn job to reduce the blade cost, because we need only one set of blades running this job. So you can see there are a lot of different chops produced on the any color, which can be done very well. Here's another chop which shows you the ink coverage, very low on one side, and on the other side a very heavy ink coverage. That is something the machine is ideal. Let's join us a trooper in our hall where we will show you the any color technology on a four color machine with a uh, coding unit because coding is also very easily done on this uh, Anicola machine. Hello and welcome to the Print Media Center here in Visto at the Speedmaster XL75 Anicola. Today we're producing one chop with three different varnishing applications. First, we print the chop without varnish at all. So this makes it easy for you later on to laminate this chop. The first uh, varnishing application it's a fully gloss varnish or it's a complete sheet, which gives you a nice shining. The second is a drip of varnish, which gives you a matte gloss effect. And the third one is a spot varnish, which only highlights some area of the sheet. That is easily be done with the Anicola technology and gives you a wide range of applications in the varnishing inline production. So let's have a look on the chops over there. Here's our first sample without varnish, if customers want that without varnish or if customers later want this sheet as a laminated um, version, it's also possible. Here's our second version with a nice gloss varnish, uh, completely finished, which is a nice protection of the sheet. Now we are coming to our next application, which is a matte gloss application, drip off. So in the last printing unit we have printed the uh, matte varnish and then we overprinted the complete sheet with a gloss varnish and you get this nice gloss matte effect. Here's our next version which we produced in two passes with two times uh, varnish over the coating unit. First we print a gloss varnish over the complete uh, solid and then we print it with a special uh, coating blade, uh, the matte varnish on top of it. This gives even a smoother effect. It's done with two parts. Hello and welcome here in the Print Media Center in Wisdo, in our factory. Uh, today we are here on the Speedmaster XL75 Anycolor and we want to produce a standard four-color chop. Udo, a question which I very often get is how many stand-up sheets we need for such a kind of job? Let's have a look onto the sheet. Okay.
our startup phase. Sheet number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I saw you stop or you activated the good sheet counter with 10 sheets already. So here you see a little bit what, but even with eight, nine, you are in a very good quality in a stable production mode. Great, that proves that the Anicola can easily produce such kind of jobs with only 10 startup sheets. And if you stay on the same material, I think you can do that uh, very easily from one job to the other without changing the temperature or the ink settings.